Good Wednesday to you, Pastor Cindy here, still basking in the reality of the resurrection as we celebrate this season of Eastertide. Did you know that Easter is more than a day in our church world? As we prepare for Easter over the 40 days of Lent, we stay in the season of Easter for 50 days beyond it until the day of Pentecost. The gift of new life we tasted on a very special Easter Sunday can be more than a taste. We can grow into it and allow it to beckon us beyond ourselves into the life God creates for us. Now, maybe part of that new life could be finding your place in the community of faith we know as Grace Church. It may sound like a stretch, but there's no better way to live out your faith than to enter into the challenge of leadership, especially these days. Church as we know it will never be the same. In fact, I'm spending these next few weeks laying out the systems we need to have a grace to effectively invite, welcome, connect, nurture, and send our people into those places where they're called to serve. We were once concerned only with the people we could convince to join us in the building, but months of not being able to use our building has required us to take steps we should have taken years ago to include people from wherever they are. To do that well, we need these systems in addition to the person-to-person -to -person touch. We also need a few good leaders who can engage this new digital world. This is a new frontier for the church. It's exciting and it's a fresh opportunity to be the church in brand new ways. If you're into social media, I'm talking to you. We need a few passionate, devoted people who can give a few hours a month to serve in leadership at Grace, beginning July 1st, for such a time as this. We have a process to get you in, a form to fill out. I know that's not necessarily the most convenient way, but don't let it intimidate you. The process is important. We want you to think deeply about this, to pray about this, to consider what it means for you and your family. Our Lay Development Committee, formerly known as Nominations, We'll read over your responses with me and help you find your best fit at Grace. But the process is really more for you than it is for us. Your time of reflection will give God time to work in and through you. And none of us ever really know where that might lead. Open positions include three at-large positions on the Leadership Council and a few other openings. Leadership Council is the name recently adopted by our church council. This devoted team is working to provide more in the way of vision and direction for grace, in addition to administrative oversight. It's certainly not an easy time to do that, and we're still working to evolve into this new framework. But if you feel called by God to participate, you'll find no better time to make a difference. The church is at a pivotal place right now as we reflect on all we've learned over the past year about what makes the church relevant in our world. As we learn to do more with less, as we lean into the needs of our young families and yet maintain a loving level of care for our seniors, as we live out a passion for ministries of social justice and keep our center focused on Jesus and the call to worship him, we are not an either or congregation. We live in the tension of the both and, as good Methodists do. So wherever you land on that spectrum, you are invited. We have the opportunity to break down walls, to be leaders in bringing people together in a divisive world. We can shape the future of Grace Church as we seek God's leading in the Holy Spirit. I hope you'll consider downloading the form. Fill it out, drop it off, or scan it in. One of these days, I'll take the time to replace it with an online form. There's a lot of work ahead. God is calling us, equipping us, and blessing us in this journey. So get it done. We need you. I look forward to all we can do as partners in this venture with God and one another. And speaking of leaders, just an update on our associate pastor position. As you've probably heard by now, Pastor Daniel is being reappointed. Our bishop and cabinet are working hard to find the best possible candidate for grace. They understand the importance of getting this appointment right and they're not rushing it. So please be in prayer for them as they do their work. We pray also for Pastor Daniel as he continues to devote time and energy to the people of grace, even as he begins to look forward to serving a new faith community on July 1st. Would you pray with me? Gracious and almighty God, 
risen Lord, power of the Holy Spirit, be with us as we give you our present and our future. For all that we are and all that we have as the people of grace, we give you thanks and praise. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.